Pretty much. It's 100, 100 square miles, and then it's a 50 hour work week, 10 hour work days, and it would be straight pay. So our morning shift is uh, 1825 an hour, our afternoon and evenings is 1925 an hour. What's up, y'all? Lockout Men here in the truck, back again with another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Yes, sir. Today's call is to A and D or A D A. I want to say A D or A and D Transport Express, and they're located out of Michigan. Yes, sir. I got this suggestion from one of my subscribers he really wants to know about a and d out in uh, michigan so here it is i'm bringing it to you a and d transport express out of michigan yeah let me see if i got some key points right quick let me see if i got some key points which i've written them down and as you guys can see right here uh a and d out of michigan they pay per mile 40 cents up to 51 per, I mean 51 cent per mile. The 51 cent is a five cent incentive bonus. After six months though, you'll get 49 cent up to 54 cent per mile with the incentive bonus. They have new Kenworths and Freightliners, uh, none older than 2015, including the new 2019 Freightliner. They have both autos and manuals, and they're governed at 70, which is real good, by the way. They're governed at 70. The average miles you can get from them is about 25 to 2,800 miles. They have stop pay, hazmat pay, which is $100. So yes, I don't know if they require hazmat, but we will find out. They got DOT pay, referred, referred, reference uh, bonus free rider pro, uh, policy meaning that you don't have to pay for your rider uh what else vacation and they got weekly pay that's a good question to start asking for now on is how do they pay like is it weekly is it bi-weekly because if it's bi-weekly that really doesn't work for me bi-weekly it, it don't work at all if I'm going to be out here doing the damn thing, I need to get paid every week. I need my money every week. It's my money and I need it now. 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 It's your money. Use it when you need it. They got the benefits. They got the medical, dental, vision, short term. 401 and they do offer per diem so let's see uh yeah that's that's the key points so of course you know their you already know their uh requirements you got to be 21 and all that other good stuff let's see what the safer has to say about a and d all right so here we are at the fm CSA uh, page for AD Transport Express Inc. Uh, number of vehicles is 525. Number of drivers 525. So <laughs> I, I, I will assume it might be safe to say that by the time you get there, you might have to wait for a truck. <laughs> I'm not sure, but. They still get they they still get the number of drivers of 525. Let's see. Uh, let's go into their carrier history right quick to see. Uh, let's see if they. Oh, uh, what's all this? What's all this gibberish right here? Man? Let's see. Uh, within the last one, two, three, four, five, six months. Uh, the number of units is 525, and the number of drivers is 525. So, as I said before, it might be safe to say 
Oh, look like I'm done. Yeah. All right, so it's safe to say that you might be waiting for a truck. So uh, they're over the road performance, uh, 3.9. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. But this this right here is pretty pretty much the important session right here. Number of inspections 970, 980, 981, 979, 987, 979. Number of crashes uh, 46, 45, 45, 43, 45, 44. A and D Transport Express. Let's uh let's see what that is about, man. I mean, you might have to wait for a truck, but let's give them a call to find out if you're really gonna have to find wait for a truck. <laughs> Good morning, AD Transport Recruiting. This is Kathy. Good morning, Kathy. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you today? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. My name is uh, Shine, and I'm a representative of a uh, Facebook group. I'm also interested in the uh, in A and D Transport as well because you guys was a topic of our conversation. So I thought I'd give you guys a call today to find out what you guys have to offer for us drivers out here. Oh, well, we depends. It looks like you're calling me from a 216 area code. Is that where um, you would be, you know, from? Yes, I'm I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. Cleveland. So and I'm also well. I'm also on here asking general questions as well. So. Okay, is this for like, you know, just for the Facebook deal or for yourself? Are you looking for um, Uh this yeah, I mean, this is this is for myself as well, you know, but it's more, okay. you know, you know, for the, you know, the same information that you give me, I'm going to take back to my guys on the Facebook group. Okay, so. great. So, um, in your area, we would have an over-the-road position available. Mm -hmm. um, you would be out 10 to 12 days with two to three homes. Mm -hmm. um, we start everybody out here at 46 cents all miles for the first six months. After six months, you go to 49. After two years, it's 52. We do have an additional five cent monthly performance bonus that gets paid on all your loaded miles. Mm -hmm. uh, you're eligible for that bonus starting from day one. Mm -hmm. What happens is they review you over 30 days as long as, as there's no uh, preventable tickets, accidents, e-log violations, whatnot. They do cut you an extra check based on the loaded that's anywhere from three to five hundred dollars per month. Okay, okay. Uh, um, is that is that 46 cent uh, regardless of experience? Um, no, it's not. We typically require um, close to a year experience, depending on the record, um, and of course the location. Okay, um, so you guys what are in a pretty good area for us. So mm -hmm. you would definitely start out at forty-six cents if you're close to a year. So um, what anything about less than that, we do not uh, do training here. So we would okay. definitely give you a website that you can um, go on to get some experience. Oh, okay. So what about for drivers that has like four years? four years or more we're, four we're, years they would be starting out at 46 cents all miles oh okay so they'll be starting at 46 cents as well correct so we got so as again so regardless of of the experience you know yes. four or five it's 46 cent coming in yes sir okay and then after six months of uh after six months then it, it bumps up to 49 you say yes that's oh, correct okay and then with this let me see here with the performance bonus is an additional five cent and on the loaded yes okay so so that's just loaded it's not empty nope it's 46 cents all miles um okay. and the five cent monthly performance bonus is on the loaded oh, okay now you just mentioned that you guys don't have y'all don't do training there so you want no, you you want us to come in at one at least a year or more yes sir Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what about the higher areas? Now you mentioned uh, I mentioned Ohio, but what other what other areas do you hire out of? We hire out of all forty eight states, um, it including just, uh, Florida. Depends. Yes, including Florida. Oh, okay. Like I said, it would depend on um, experience and home time. Mm -hmm. um, in the Florida area, you know, if you're you know not way down there, we can you know see if we could get a home time request sent out. They're typically out at least four to six weeks at a time. Oh, so okay. if they're good with that, um, then yes, we can accommodate. Oh, okay, but if they're not good with that, then y'all can't help them. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have much going on over there. Most of our work is east of the Mississippi. We do have 48 state authority. We mm -hmm. probably have about a handful of trucks out west. It's just 
basically the the drivers that have their home time in that area. Now speaking of uh speaking of uh all forty eight, do you guys uh do you guys force dispatch up in uh New York or California? Um, like I said, we may have one truck in California. There's not much there. Mm -hmm. um, we, there's not much work over there. We do not force dispatch into the islands and boroughs of New York. So, oh. no, we don't force you to in New York. Oh, okay. We have a lot going on in New Jersey, but um, we pay extra for loads going into the islands and boroughs. Right. Um, we don't have much there as well, but there are some loads that go that way and for those drivers who don't mind taking those loads we'll pay extra for doing so oh tenfold tenfold uh where's the terminals located at and how many do you have we only have one terminal we're here in canton michigan we do have two drop yards one in charlotte north carolina and one in louisville kentucky oh, okay so as far as now this is no touch freight but what's the what's the percentage of dropping hook being that you only have two yards 60% drop and hook, 40% live load. Oh, okay, okay. Is there a sign-on bonus with this company? There is not. That's why we have that uh, five cent monthly performance bonus on the loaded miles, because like I said, you are eligible for that bonus starting from day one, mm -hmm. um, and you you're, can ha get that bonus every single month that you're here at AD Transport. Tenfold, tenfold. Um, what do you guys require for pre-employment tests as far as hair follicles or urine? it would be a urine test urine test all right um are you guys felon friendly yes we are depends on you know the situation as long as it's three years old um with that being said uh same goes for tickets and accidents mm -hmm. um felonies and any fail to refuse drug or alcohol testing okay now let me ask you this that's a good question let me ask you this because I, I was talking to a, a a young man that was in orientation and when it came time to do his drug tests uh unfortunately he kind of like bowed out i he didn't go into the pacifics mm -hmm. but if you if you in orientation and you decide not to stay with stay with the company and you say hey i don't want to stay with the company but it's time for me to take the drug test would you guys still could would would you guys still not bring that person on even though they they didn't go through the drug test um it i that's kind of tricky that's a tricky question because to me it sounds like it would be a failed or not a failed but a refused okay um, testing with that being said the next company that he applies for he would definitely have to do um go through a sat program Okay. Now, what about you guys, though? I mean, would you guys still let that person come hire on somebody? Yeah. Hire on somebody that did that to the previous company? Yeah. That that that. Is, oh, I'm sorry. That had a uh, refuse. Yes, ma'am. Um. Okay. So what would happen would be that he would have to go through the SAP program, like I mentioned, and he mm -hmm. would have to um bring forth his documents stating that he went through um, the program and we would have to get documentation of uh, a follow-up program for that individual okay 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 uh, what about what about guys that had more than one uh, one two three four five jobs uh, trucking jobs within a year would you guys would you guys uh, frown upon upon that absolutely um, it would, like I said, it would depend on the individual, um, mm -hmm. their background, um, if they had, you know, some good reasoning as to why, you know, they left those previous employers and if their driving record is clean and how much experience they have. Um, oh, okay. There could be some good reason be behind it. However, we do like to see some stable work history. Tenfold. Um Where's the, or, well, I'm assuming the orientation is held up in Michigan. Uh, how, yes. how will we get there? We have a couple different ways to get you here. We would definitely, you know, look into Greyhound, Amtrak, or see if there's one of our drivers in the area that would, you know, be able to pick them up if that's something that they would consider. Okay. How long's the orientation and is it paid? It is uh, a day and a half long. We hold them every Tuesday and Thursday of the week. It's from 8 to 4 the first day. Eight to approximately one o'clock the next day. Um, it is 
not paid, I want to say, after they get under their first load um, the following day, they mm-hmm. do give them $60 for whatever supplies that they need. Oh, okay, um, okay. So you... We, get, we, pay, we take care of their transportation mm-hmm. um, here, and we put them up in a hotel room. Single? For two nights. Single? Um, Single? It's, it's a double bed. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, sing, as, as, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's by what I mean. themselves, double room. Um, they take care of their breakfast there. Um, they get shuttled back and forth um, to the location here. Okay. And um, we provide them with lunch while they're here as well. Tenfold. All right. Um, so we we pretty much get in our trust uh, pretty much the next day. Uh, yeah. I, it see it says here that you guys offer all, autos and manuals, so y'all not a full y'all not a fully uh, automatic fleet. Um, to be honest with you, our manuals are pretty tight. Mm-hmm. We do have some, however, we um, have a waiting list for those. If they cannot drive automatics, we definitely try to accommodate um, the manual, you know, preference. Gotcha. However, we we do have a majority of automatics. They are 19 and newer, governed at 70 miles an hour. Oh, okay, okay, and that's on that's on cruise and the foot, right? Yes. Oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. I yes, see sir. you guys. Uh, I see you guys offer a hundred dollars for hazmat. Is hazmat required? It's not a requirement. However, that $100 for hazmat, it would be on a full load. Um, if you are doing like a relay hazmat, it would depend on the percentage of the, the hazmat um, haul. Okay. So say, for instance, um, you pick up the hazmat load here, you deliver it to, let's say, Charlotte, and somebody else picks it up from there and takes it the rest of the way, that would be like a 50 split. Depends oh, okay. on, it depends on where you know, they're hauling it to. And All if right. it's a full load, yes, they get the hundred dollars. But no, hazmat is not a requirement. Do we get a uh, Do we get a uh, pay advances? I'm going to be broke when I get there. Um, yes, up to one hundred and twenty-five dollars they'll put on your card. Oh, okay, okay. Um, of course, all the all the packages is available: vacation, holiday. Yes, after the sixtieth day of employment should kick in the following month. Um, you get uh, full benefits. Um, after the 60th day, like I said, um, paid holidays or paid time off and um, paid holidays after your first year. Oh, okay. So after the first year, that's when, now is it all holidays or is it just Christmas and Thanksgiving? Christmas, Thanksgiving, and I believe 4th of July, I want to say. Oh, okay. Okay. How about, uh, how about breakdown, pay, detention? It's a case-by-case situation. Um, detention pay is after two hours, $25 an hour. Layover is after two hours based on the driver's average pay, typically 100 to $250. How often do layovers happen, though? Mm, not very often. Oh, okay, okay. Like I uh, said, it's a case-by-case situation, so they try to not let that happen. I scroll down here to the bottom, and it says uh, per diem. Is, that, uh, is, that, is it mandatory? No, it's not. Um, okay. They would have to opt into the opt into that. Um, if they don't want to be a part of that, they just let them know in HR. It's uh, sixty six dollars per day. All right, four hundred one k. Is that match or is that? We like, do have it after the first year, but it is not matched at this time. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so the miles uh, we can average says here we can average about what twenty five to twenty eight hundred miles. Yep, um, it depends on the driver. You know, to be honest with you, we have some drivers here that are not um, getting the average uh, miles, and mm-hmm. then we have some that are uh, pushing 3,000 and over. All right. Depends on the driver, how they manage their time off the e log system, and as long as they're not refusing loads, they should be, you know, averaging the same as everyone else. What about uh, what about the divisions? Uh, is this just drive in only, or do you guys drive have in. drive in only? drive in only all right what lanes what other lanes other than uh all 48 that you guys offer y'all have any uh like uh regional local uh we do have local um morning afternoons and evenings and just over the road no dedicated or regional okay so that's just uh for and as for the local i'm assuming they will have to stay pretty much like what 50 miles of the 
of the, of the area pretty much. It's 100, 100 square miles and then it's a 50 hour work week, 10 hour work days and it would be straight pay. So our morning shift is uh, 1825 an hour. Our afternoon and evenings is 1925 an hour. Now being that I'm out of Ohio, would I, would I be able to qualify for that? For the local position? Yes. They would, they would say probably not because it's quite the hike for you on a daily commission, but it's to totally up to you. Oh, okay. not commission commute. Oh. Um, but that would be totally, you know, up to you. If that's something that you think that you can do and you come in and, you know, you're good to go, I'm sure they would want to talk to you about that to make right. sure. Um, that I'm good however, with it. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So with, so with that, I'll probably be able to get home, like, what, every weekend or something like that, pretty much? Oh, you're, you would be home daily. Oh, I'd be home daily. Oh, oh, oh okay. Can, position, yeah. So like can, I said, it's a 10-hour work day. Can we take the trucks home? You, not on local. Oh, uh, not? Off the road, yes. But oh, okay, local. but local, no. Would that be um, that? Would that be a day truck that I'll be driving? A day cab? You'll be driving a day cab, yes. No wonder. Okay, okay, no wonder. Um, do you guys reimburse for now? Listen, now listen here. Now I, I I've been in talks with different drivers and different companies. Mm -hmm. uh, and the biggest issue with us now is truck parking, and a lot of truck uh, and a lot of truck stops is is doing pay for parking now. Mm -hmm. So my question is this, which I just added. Um, do you guys reimburse for scales, tolls, and now parking? Scales and tolls. It, um, like uh, the route that you're on, we do have um, as far as uh, the tolls, we have um, easy passes. Those are and taken like care of. The okay. parking, we do not reimburse for parking because that, you know, you'll be parking. Um, close to your home um, during your home time, that is a charge to the driver. Okay. Um, the scales we have easy pass for the scales. However, um, it's shut off right now. Um, our DSA, um Scores. That we right. need to get that taken care of before that gets turned back on. Okay. 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 Uh, so that means as far as the uh, as far as the pre pass, we we pretty much got to go through all the scales pretty much. Um, yeah, I, I want to say yes for okay. now, but, um, uh, now, soon. now you did talk a little bit about the home time policy for over the road driver. Now, as mm -hmm. far as over the road driver, uh, you mentioned that, uh, for what, every 10 days that we're out, we get like one day off or something like that, or two days off. Like I said, it depends on, on the area that you're at um, and how close you are to the highways. And typically in your area, it's 10 to 12 with two to three homes. So what happens is um, we kind of give you a general idea mm -hmm. of what you would be doing. And then if you want to um, try to get a pre-approval, what we do is send out a home time request to operations. Mm -hmm. They come back mm -hmm. with a, um, a more detailed um, home time. Mm -hmm. And we let you know what that will be, and if you're good with that, we move forward. All right. What's the what's what's the uh, what's the extension of the home time that I can stay out? What's what's the as longest? Long as, as long as you want to stay out, that's totally up to you and your driver manager. Communication is key. Um, if you want to stay out longer, it's just longer home time. You you get. All right. All right. Uh, now I see that the rider policy is free mm -hmm. from day yes, one. Sir. Awesome. Yes. So I, I can bring my I, I can bring a rider with me right off the rip. Now As do do the rider now what if the rider that I'm bringing with me has their own CDLs? Can they still come with me? Yeah, they can come with you. Um, as far as driving, they would have to be approved right. um, to drive. You know, they would have to meet all the qualifications to do so. Okay. And, yeah, they can definitely um, come along with you. There's no problem in that. However, they have to be 18 years or older, mm -hmm. and the rider policy has to be signed, and they need to bring their driver's license, and it needs to be updated every 30 days. Gotcha, gotcha. What about, uh, what about pets? Can we bring uh, pets? We do, not, we do not have an open-door pet policy. Um, but oh. if there was 20 pounds, we could definitely try to get it approved through uh, operations. 
All right. So what if I what if I decide to come on board and let's say maybe 30, maybe 60 days, you know, the company is not all that gravy to me and I want to uh, return the truck. What's the policy on me bringing the truck back? Talk to your driver manager. Okay. Let them know that things aren't working out for you. We do have a $100 um, fee wow. for paperwork and whatnot. Oh, and, okay. And yeah. that's taken out of your that's taken out of your check, I take it? Yes. Yeah. Yep, it's payroll deducted. Um, so yes, we do, you know, charge a hundred dollars if you're here less than six months. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we already went over the uh, the uh, equipment, but what's the amenities for the equipment? What do you have inside the cabs? Mm, we have um, eighteen hundred watt inverters mm -hmm. in there. We are optimized idle. Um, there's no refrigerators. You could definitely order one through the company. They're pretty pricey, so we always uh, suggest finding something, you know, at Cheaper. Walmart or something like that. <laughs> once you see the space provided there. Um, but if you do decide to go, you know, they're pretty, they're really nice. There's mm -hmm. a reason for them to be so pricey. Um, they'll do like a $50 payroll deduct if you're interested in that. Okay. Um, so no satellite radios, no, just pretty much bare bones. Yeah, pretty much. And then um, if there's anything that you would like to get set up, um, they do have like a bracket for... Um, a TV. I don't know if it's the, yeah, the TV and whatnot, but uh, if you need anything set up, we do have our own mechanic shop here on site. You definitely okay. go through them and let them know what you want to do, and they'll help you out with that. And then we do have our own wash van site as well. All right. The trucks do have cameras. Yeah, I was they just about to ask that. Is it forward-facing mm -hmm. and outward-facing or just it's outward? Both. Both. Nope, it's both. And the uh, one facing inward, it's just it comes on um, when need be. Um, if there's a situation where the trailer gets bumped, the uh, you know, um, or the truck gets bumped or you bump something, it does come on okay. from eight to twelve seconds at a time. Um, it there is an indicator light that comes on to let you know that it's recording. Recording. Well, it's recording um, all the time, but it's, it'll come on to let you know that it's capturing that little spot that. Yeah. Yes, um, it's not recording all the time. It is. Uh, you can definitely. It's off during your off time. It's, um, you have to have it on uh, for the ten hours that you're driving. Okay. Um, when you're off, there's. You can go ahead and cover it up with whatever, and. Um, that's right. it. What about uh? What's what's your policies on cell phones? Cell phones. You can have your cell phones. However, if you need to be on the phone, is definitely you need to have your headset on. Exactly. Um, it's not no handheld devices. Um, if they catch you with that, you will definitely get into some trouble. Exactly. Now, I'm 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 kind of like scheming through the uh, through the website. Um, everything about everything about uh about the company drivers, but I don't see nothing about lease. Do you guys offer that? We don't have, nope, we don't have lease purchase program. And as far as the owner operators, we probably only have four um, here in this company. We're oh, okay. mostly company drivers, no lease purchase program. Oh, okay, okay, well that's what's up, that's what's up. What? Hey, awesome, awesome information. I mean, this, wow, this, uh, I, I must say that this is like one of the one of the better informative trucking companies that I have spoken with so far. I mean, oh, this wow. is a, uh, I mean, you know, st you know, the starting pay, you know, I, I'm kind of on the fence because you know mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a four year driver. You know, I see forty six cent for for a new driver. You know, that's mm -hmm. good for a new driver, but for mm -hmm. you know. Uh, a driver that got experience you know maybe a cent or two more but still though still though it, i mean you know that's that's still better than than most out here correct you know well so. if you have four years and this is you know something to think about too a new driver coming in at 46 cents mm -hmm. may not get that monthly performance bonus but a driver with four years experience may get that performance bonus every single month so right that would be the pay difference there that will be the key difference exactly exactly well uh what's your name my name is kathy miss kathy thank you very much uh if you have uh if you have information that you would like to send to me uh via email 
that would be that would be greatly appreciated and i can sure, uh, and i can give that i can pass that on to uh the drivers that's in the group and that's in my channel i can Wonderful. uh i can definitely pass that on to them and you know definitely let them know that you know this number one is a felon friendly company and number two you know is you know, if they got uh, at least six months or, no, you say a year, right? Not not six oh, months. Yeah, before. close to a year. Yeah. I would say more uh, eight eight months to a year. Eight months to a year. You mm -hmm. know, this probably might be a good, uh, probably might be a good opportunity for them. So Absolutely. my, my uh, email address, you ready? I am. Lockoutmen, L-O-C-K-O-U-T-M-E-N at gmail.com. All righty, I'll go ahead and send you over our company uh, email um, mm -hmm. as far as local, over the road, um, and some benefit information as well. Ten and fold. if you have any questions for me, Sean, my contact information is on the bottom. I appreciate your time today. I, is there any other questions? I, I, no, 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 no. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time for, you know, giving me this little bit of information that I can pass on. Thank you. Thank you very no, much. No, thank you for calling us, Sean. You have a wonderful day. You too, ma'am. Blessed day to you. Thank you. You as well. Bye-bye. All right. I like that. Man, I like that. Listen here, hold on, hold on. I, at this point right here, I usually give an outro, but I'm about to get an outro right now because it's still fresh in my head, man. These people here, these people here, man, let me tell you something, okay? These people right here, so far, like I said, I am on the fence about the 40 cents a mile. I, I really am. But, oh my God, I, man, come on now. There we go. Man, come on now. I mean, seriously. 40, 40 cents, cents a mile for every mile loaded and empty. But it's 51 cents a mile for every mile loaded and not empty. So, if you, you know, if you're a safe driver, you know, you can, you can get this 51 cent a mile. You know, but your base is 46 cent. It's not 46 cent contingent. It's not per diem. Now you can you can jump into the per diem if you want to, but it's it's not mandatory. You get paid every week. Uh, you get paid vacations after a year, and um, and everything else. The only bad thing, if you guys didn't catch, was the fact that. The pre-pass is kind of like turned off because of their CSA scores. Now, as I said before, when I went back to check the safety management system, they they had a few issues right here. They <laughs> they got a few issues right here um, that they need to that they that they need to clear up. Yeah, they need to clear up. Hopefully, they'll get that cleared up and they'll get their their pre-pass or yeah, their pre-pass back online. And as far as truck parking, sorry guys, they they if you was to park in a parking spot that they that uh, that you have to pay for, unfortunately, you don't get reimbursed for it. Sorry. Oh. But AD Transport, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of AD Transport Express? What do you guys think of this call? Information that I got from uh, from her, I have for you. you. Just hit me up and I'll email it out to you if you want to know more about the company. And, um, and yeah, that's it. I'm done. You guys take it easy. Have a blessed one. And come back again to see who I call. Yo, hook a brother up with some coffee. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. On the Lockout Men 2.0 channel. I get back at y'all with the next one. Peace. <laughs>